Hi, I'm Rebecca Pazorski, Certified Holistic Health Coach and Herbalist, and it is my passion to guide people to live healthy, happy, vibrantly, amazing lives. And out of my commitment to do that, I am sharing one of my number one favorite tips for creating vibrant health, and that is how to make a long infusion. And today we're going to make a long infusion with nettles. So what you do is you take about an ounce of dried herb, or as I do it, I just take a quart jar and fill it up about a quarter of the way full, about like that. And then you pour boiling hot water into the jar, maybe about three quarters of the way full. And then you stop and you take either a knife or a chopstick and you stir in the herb really good into that boiling water. You want to get all of that herb coated and down into the water. And once it seems like most of that herb is wet, you can take the boiling water and you're going to pour it in until it goes all the way to the top without overflowing it. And then you take the cover and you screw it on nice and tight. And then you let it sit for four to eight hours. And then when you're done, you can open it back up, and this is not stuck yet, but it, because of the heat, it will seal, and you're going to need some kind of a bottle opener to pry the, the top off like that. So you can strain it the next day, and I use a handy little strainer like this, into another quart jar, and you can keep it in the fridge for up to 48 hours. But after that, the proteins start to break down, and it will taste a little bit off, and then you can just throw it outside on your plants or water your indoor plants with it. It's really nourishing for the plants as well. So the difference between a tea and a long infusion is that a tea is just steep for between five and 10 minutes and it's real light. Whereas a long infusion, it gives the minerals that are inside the cells of the leaves an opportunity to come out into the water where you can drink them. And nettles is a wonderful source of iron, calcium, magnesium, vitamin C, B complex, vitamin K, chlorophyll and a whole host of trace minerals. You can reheat it like in a, in a pan. You don't want to boil it. If you do, it's okay, but you really don't want to. And you don't want to heat it up in the microwave, but it's really nice with a little bit of raw honey. It is going to be a deeper green color and it tastes wonderful. When I drink it, I have higher energy, my skin, my hair. It looks wonderful. People are commenting, wow, you're glowing. It improves my digestion incredibly, so I highly recommend trying a long infusion for a couple of weeks and see how you feel. Thank you for watching this video today. I'll see you soon. Bye.